Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? But before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's liking up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribing will put you a naughty game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. Listen, listen, listen. There's been a lot of news that has came out, but I feel like there's certain there's one big glaring thing that no one has spoke on and i think it's about that time man and um i'm talking about post scores all right i'm talking about post scores now mike dropped a tweet okay and he said phase got a buff in the mid-range and a nerf at the three now i'm sitting here thinking like all right bet at first i was like okay cool so i can see a lot of people fading in the mid-range but then i started thinking like wait a minute so we talking about post fades too? <laughs> Yo, wait a minute. Wait a minute now. And, and it is. Post fades got, like post moves in general has gotten a buff, right? So if you're talking about centers now being able to not just use the post hook, but now they're able to utilize moves that is going to allow them to be even more lethal than before because if you're buffing a fade that means obviously it's going to be a lot easier to be able to hit your hop shots it's going to be a lot easier to hit just your normal post fades and, and the thing is this let me know in the comment section how you feel about that now i know post scores has been dead for a while i haven't i can't think of when post scores are really dominant i remember 2k19 they were insane everybody remembers the post takeover when a post score got post take man they used to drop you on your ground and just go crazy post scores lived on the 1v1 and the 2v2 I mean, the post lock. Everybody remember the post lock. I mean, I don't know a lot of people do post locks now because of the six nines and stuff, but I can see in 2K24, you know, that coming back. Post scores, lockdowns, just dominating the 2v2 because at the same time, you know, RIP to the six nine demi guys, man. So it's like when you talk about that, post scores are going to be back. Let's just go ahead and start accepting that right now. If you listen, the dominance of two six nines on the twos court, you know, or. You know, a nice little small little play shot running around against screens. Man, that's dead, man. I mean, I ain't gonna say it's not dead. Like, I mean, obviously people got skill, they can be able to do it, but it's like, listen, post score is about to go crazy. Mike just said it. He just said fades are going to phase um, phase from the mid-range was buffed. Like you can't ask, you can't ask for anything like that. Right? Let's just keep it a stack. But then you go even further. Alright? Again, no one's talking about this. Mike did another tweet and he said, since no one asked, you can also meter dunk standing dunks in 2K24. <laughs> so not only can you meter dunk, you know, as a guard is going straight to the paint, but now you can be under the basket, back somebody down, hit them with a drop step and meter dunk. Meaning like now you no longer have to worry about why did I not get a contact done there? I was in good position. Now you are going to be able to do it. Now he did say, but it's really hard to pull off at the moment. Work in progress. So, again, work in progress, that can be taken for many different, you know, you can take that many different ways. But the way I take it is, is that it's difficult right now, the time, but we're working on it. So where it won't, it'll be just like you're a, a, a driving dunk, meter dunk. If that's the case, post scores are about to be insane. And you know, Unc, you already know me, man. <laughs> Come on, man. You're, hey, you already know I'm about to be out there. I'm about to get that seven foot three and go crazy out there, yo. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, there's nothing better than getting contact dunks. But now you can tell me post fades or buffs. You can get standing dunks now. They spoke on how, you know, um, if the, the court side report spoke on how, like, paint defense and just the interaction with um, being in the paint with bigs, how that has now been reworked. So now you're talking about. Uh, even though this paint defense has been buffed, right? Strength and weight is going to matter again. I know a lot of y'all in the comment section are going to be like, oh, well, you know, y'all been saying strength and weight is going to matter. No, strength and weight is going to matter, right? And if if I were you, I would probably go ahead and, and make my first build. It would make sense to put strength in it instead of just thinking that, well, you know, Mike Wayne's lying this time. And, and no, like, just do it. It's better to be safe than sorry, right? But at the end of the day, I mean, you can do whatever you want. But I'm just letting you know, if you, if you, if post score is gonna be insane and you don't have strength, you wanna feel, you gonna, 
you're going to feel it, man. Like you truly are going to feel it. So what I'm saying is, is that I think it's a good thing. And the reason why I say that is because for the longest post scores, there wasn't really much skill in that. So we, I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume, right, based upon the nerf in 2K23 of the post hooks, that the post hooks are still are going to be not an automatic. You remember, everybody more encouraging. and it was crazy, right? Um, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be, you know, the same type of mechanic or it's just not going to be as easy to sit there and just post hook the whole time right because paint defense has been buffed and post hooks has been nerfed in 2k23 and i'm assuming it will happen it'll still be the same in 2k24 so putting out all together and post fate with post phase being buffed and not being able to get contact dunks to me i can see individual just be like you know what i'm gonna make a pure post you know what i mean i'm gonna have all the post stuff pure inside posts too man i'm not even oh, you know or i'm sorry not pure inside posts a post that can actually not that can fade that does a post fade and that can finish under the basket with crazy contact dunks very high close shot like obviously i haven't seen the builder but i would definitely want to see you know and come up with that and you know i'm a, you know i got you i'm gonna i'm gonna find the nastiest post build and we got to go crazy with it we're gonna go crazy with it i'm gonna bring shaq in the park and it is what it is everybody knows shaq's my favorite player and i'm bringing shaq straight to the park you know what i'm saying and i'm coming with that lockdown and we about to cook up. We just about to go like, y'all going to get on the dots and be like, yo, there's no way post locks are back. But that's what I visualize. I can see it happening, right? It's right there, clear as day. All you got to do is just put the dots together, all right? So again, standing contact dunks are now being able to be quick and utilized with the pro stick. Post fades and post moves got a buff, all right? Come on now. Come on now. And we're talking about like, you know, a lot of people aren't able to dribble, but if you can just work on holding L2, R2, working in that post, get a couple, you know, little shimmies here, shimmies there with the drop step, it can happen. So let me know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? I know, listen, I know we got some post scores that are watching these videos, and if you haven't thought about that, you might want to go ahead and start thinking about it long and hard, or maybe you was a post score in 2K19. Now it's time to go ahead and start thinking about it. Because post scores are going to be dominant. And again, we're not talking about, it don't have to be a seven footer. It could be like, you know, an MJ Kobe type build, like a Carmella Anthony working the mid range post type build. Like post fades or fades in general or buff. Post moves or buff. So, like, there is, this is another element that you can utilize in the game to where now it's just not going to be a play shot, right? It's just not going to be a slasher. You got, now you got people that can work and put their back to the basket. Mike Wayne said that um, in that same tweet, you know, fading threes are gone. So two-pointers will be more viable, right? If, if, if individuals can't fade and the defense is where it is and you can't fade just like that, then obviously twos are going to matter now. So you don't have to worry about like, oh, my build can't shoot threes, so I'm going to be a liability. No, if you play good defense, force people off that line, and now it's you can focus on your game and have fun and want to work in the post and be MJ or be Kobe or be Shaq, whatever, post scoring back to the basket type stuff is back baby i'm excited about that so let me know in the comment section what you think and obviously if you're loving this type of content go ahead watch one of my other videos with the news man i've been dropping nothing but straight juice for y'all and of course as always as usual this is your favorite old head uncle Demi. i'll be back really really soon with another banger man you know when i say back soon with another banger you know exactly what day i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out